So you talked about the, there are you know growing s markets for solar across the world. Which uh, specific markets are you really fo focused on growing in? India, Chile, China? Well, we're present in all of those markets, but the biggest growth over the next couple of years is really going to come from China, Japan, and U.S. and India. And we're active in, in all of those countries. So, but we're also looking at, of course, other countries such as Chile, which is which is taking off South Africa. We're very active there. So we're able to follow the market as it as it transitions from traditional, what we call traditional um, geographies to more emerging geographies. But um, I also just want to make a point, the traditional geographies, which is generally Europe, that's still a substantial market and it will continue to be a substantial market. And our focus is as strong there as ever. And I mean, you're just such a large company that you already have uh, people on the ground, local local uh, yeah. uh, we have the people we have the infrastructure we have uh, local people so our our philosophy is basically to be a global company with local presence and so we really are in many ways a local company as well and as a yeah. as a market heats up you don't have to do so much to go into it you're already there so you just exactly we know how to do business in those countries we have the infrastructure etc and those would be yeah. the modules the trackers moving the modules. The tracking company was Array? Or? Yes. Yeah. So in your presentation you, you gave a, a very interesting diagram about microgrids that you know could have solar, wind, diesel, uh, energy storage, different things. Um, can ABB be, is, would ABB be involved in any of those different components of that microgrid? Would you? We would be involved with most of those components. Again, it depends on um, our customer profile and what the solution is that they would like us to do. We can do, we have products, which is the control solution for the plant for integration of the renewables into the grid. We have the grid stabilizer that, that can be added for really the 100% integration of renewable into the grids and, and, and into the microgrid and have a grid-like quality um, of course, outside of that, we can also bring in the solar PV expertise as well as our wind expertise. So there's a lot of areas where we would have touch points that we would actually be able to bring in to the customer, depending on what their needs and requirements are. Our business models are very flexible because due to the profile, the diverse profile of our customers. Right, and just like sort of with solar, you have you have the ability to sort of be modular with that, where you can offer whatever one component or a few absolutely. components together or the whole absolutely. I mean, not the whole thing but yeah absolutely we can provide a uh, at the product level or we can provide it at the system and solution level mm -hmm. depending on on what's needed and it's also scalable so you can you can do certain parts now and and continue to to add to that or grow the plant for example so key components of those microgrids are the control systems and uh, if it's if it's needed, a grid stabilizer. Yeah. Uh, and ABB, I understand, is you you're the only company, perhaps, that has uh, both components so developed that you can just bring them both into a microgrid. Or? That that's true. I mean, it, it's the microgrids have different levels of complexity, and if you if you really want to have grid quality and you want to have 100% penetration of renewables into the grid, then you want both of those components. Um, and they're advanced technologies. So from that perspective, absolutely, I believe we're, we're the only ones who offer that as a, uh, as a total system.